Hi, Steve here from Build Construction Steels Academy. We're just going to have a little bit of fun here this afternoon. We're going to do some uh, really quick and cheap wood graining. Uh, an ideal little session for if you've got a school group in, because we can um, we can get a product that's finished really quickly and something they can take away with it, show the mums and dads. Decorators, you want to have a go wood graining, you're a bit scared of it. Well, I've never done any before. This is a nice little simple sort of uh, project to get you going with it. All we're using is poster paints and a little bit of oil based polyurethane varnish. So what we've done is we've base coated the board up with some uh, orange and bright red poster paint. We've let it dry, it's gone off. We've mixed up some um, burnt umber and a little bit of black. And what we're going to do is we're going to put a striped figure mahogany onto this board. So I've just got a wet brush there. What we're going to do is we're just going to give the surface a bit of a wet. It's not fully hardened off, so it's going to take the base coat off a little bit. It's just so we can get a little bit of slip on that. And then we're going to have a go. So we can we'll just get a, a nice wash on it. Burn umber, a little bit of black. We've done this really fast, so it's, it's not fully dry in this board. It's not hardened off. It's not ideal. But we'll give it a good coverage. And then we're going to use a stippling brush. It's already coated up with burn umber. And what we're going to do is we're going to just drag, put some pressure on the bristles at the the back with our fingers we're going to drag the mortar through the wet glaze putting a little bit of a squiggle in it certainly not a swirl and it's not a wave it's just a little bit of a squiggle like that. and it's just putting what we call this nice strike figure in. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go back, we're going to have a little look over, see anything we've, we've missed or where the tangerine red still coming through. And we're just going to go back and we're just going to use our modeler again. And come down this little one here. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're just going to add a few darker stripes in that we see often in mahogany. So I'm just going to add a little bit of black to that glaze that's left. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit down there, looking really quickly. And we're just going to model that out so we've got a little darker, got a little darker stripe in there like that. Let's come across this side as well. To work fast because it is poster paint and it does start to dry quite fast. But if you've got a group of school kids in, you can embed some mats into it. We can cut a plasterboard down to size, they can be using the measuring, measuring it all out, um, practice the colour mixing, and you can get a full session out of this. Now we're going to soften it with a badger hair softener. And all we're going to do, 90 degrees across the surface, is we're just going to go that way like that. And then I'm going to finish off by going with the grey. So we're going to go up the grey line. I'm not happy with that, I'm just going to remodel that out a little bit again. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just going to model that out of there, soften that out of there where we've modelled it. We're going to get that bristle out of there. the surface again there and then we'll finish up up and down like that there we are so we've got a nice mahogany stripe pattern on our plasterboard and what we'll do is we'll let that dry off and we'll come back to it we might over grain it um, and then before they leave at the end of the session we're going to varnish it and we should end up with a nice 
finished little project that looks something like that. So, there we go. Thanks for watching. Cheers.